called a civility brunch. Oh. Which I think is just a, a chance for us to share a meal together and talk about the campaign and its issues to make sure that everything's going to be civil, you know? That's a lovely idea, Marty. We're all so proud of you. I knew one day your dad would realize your true potential. Um, boys, put down your utensils. I want to talk to you about something real quick. I wanted to take this time to say that we're going to be under a lot of media scrutiny. So if there's anything that you want to talk about, any kind of secrets or stories or fibs, now's the time to put it on the table, okay? And if you tell me, if you tell me and your mom, we're not going to be mad. I said the Lord's name in vain at school. I said I wasn't going to get angry, and I'm not angry. I went to the petting zoo, and I I love to go lick my penis. So that, I know, honey. You promised you wouldn't get mad, okay? You're just, you're being honest. Okay, maybe that's, maybe that's it. I had a beer with the old biker man at the end of the street. And he let me touch his old lady's titty. <sighs> oh, breast. I go to the mall and hide in the stairwell and take photos of that woman's skirts. I have a whole book of pooter shots under my bed. One time I put a firefly on my butthole. Why? Wow. To make my farts glow. I shaved the dog and glued the hair to my nutsack so I looked like a grown man. I touched myself to Drew Carey on the bus, right? God. Okay, that's enough. Stop, please. I want to thank you all for coming here today.